Hakeem Bellamy. Uh, he's the Strategic Communication Director at the Media Literacy Project. He's a national and regional slam poetry champion and an Albuquerque favorite who's been voted best poet by Local IQ and the Weekly Alibi. Uh, literacy test, a.k.a. the new Jim Crow. Mm. Any person who shall attempt to teach any free person of color or slave to spell, read, or write shall upon conviction thereof by indictment be fined in a sum not less than $250. From the Alabama Slavery Code of 1833. If they can no longer steal our books, excuse me, sorry. If they can no longer steal our land, they'll steal our books. Because every genocide starts with the mind. Since every revolution begins with the thoughts and heart, they will sacrifice our freedom of teach. And only by the grace of the laws they created can they not sacrifice our hearts to stakes and nooses, bombs, gunfire, and arson. But believe me, they've tried. They've tried to remove our hearts from our lifeless bodies, but our love never subsided. So plan B is to make us love ourselves less. If burning women at the stake couldn't kill feminism, how the hell do they think they're going to ban Chicanista? <laughs> state that will burn and ban people because we are burnt and banned people. Won't even let us keep the perfect bound papers we got. So these hypocrites are fitting to get their history undocumented. This place pen from paper like people from places. Remove Mexican American hands from the first Catholic church in Solomonville, Arizona, 1887 or the first Presbyterian in Morency, 1889. Remove the pictures of brown Jesus who looks more Mexican than Methodist. Remove the immaculate heart of Mary. Church we built because we were tired of being forced to listen to mass in the basement of St. Mary's. Erase the deportation of a thousand copper miners on strike in Bisbee, left on a train car in the New Mexican desert by vigilantes with no food or water. A government that so badly wants the history of how it got it to be forgotten will remove fingerprints from a crime scene. Will remove Cesar Chavez's birth from Yuma. Will remove Cesar Chavez, Gloria Andalzua, Thomas Rivera, Tomas Rivera, Luis Valdez, Martina Espada, Isabel Allende, Rodolfo Anaya, Rodolfo Acuna, and Gar Gonzalez, because they will have us drink Kool-Aid instead of Cultura. No E.S. Martinez, not even in pictures. No Mexican white boys, no women hollering creek, no Sherman Alexi, just like Pocahontas and John Smith, Thanksgiving and bullshit. The Lone Ranger and Tonto will not fist fight in heaven, they will hold hands. No suit suit, nobody's son, everybody's bro, no codexes, only Rolexes, no black face of poems. Arizona wouldn't even leave Baldwin and Zenith alone. Said F you, Rosales, Abu Jamal, and Henry David Thoreau. No rethinking Columbus, no rethinking anything. As a matter of fact, no thinking, period. Because <laughs> there is no single act worse than the revisionist history they hate than removing books from schools. I want to tell America that bleaching the brown off your history will not make you clean, that there is no way to separate your guilt from truth, that there is an X in La Raza too. I want to tell them it's too late to, too late to remove us from you. And just because your history is unswallowable, unswallowable without milk, and we are like water for chocolate, that's no excuse. So we'll build a bridge of banned books across the border. And when you find yourself so far from God that you need to borrow that bridge to get back, we won't even ask for your papers. We'll just open our history books and keep track. Because the only people that are afraid of the past are people who are afraid of facts. We want to remove books from our tragically underperforming education system, maintaining it's not about race when it's obvious that it's not about class. How smart is that? This is a, you are not allowed to have a history lesson. 
where the only where there are only closed book tests, because you don't want us to pass. Mm -hmm.